Right here is my brother's SQ9185 sewing machine. I did a tutorial on this sewing machine, but it comes with a lot of feet and I wasn't able to go into super detail and I thought I would do a video on each foot. So in this video, I'm going to use the buttonhole foot and the button fitting foot. Let's get started. Okay, attaching a button to your fabric is a two-part process. On one side, you have to make a hole in your fabric, and on the other side, you have to attach the button. So it's a two-part process. I'm going to use this orange cotton uh, fabric quarter that I got from Joanne, and I'm using black thread. The bobbin is black as well. So let me set the sewing machine up. Let's get started. Here is the orange fabric quarter. I'm using my rotary cutter on my cutting board to just make uh, this piece a little straight. Okay, so right here I have four different buttons. I have four different buttons. Uh, I have one metal, two plastic, actually two metal, two plastic. This one has two holes, the other three have four holes. Uh, I chose four different sizes and different holes so you can see that you can attach any button using the butt fitting foot. So I'm going to put the buttons on this side put the holes on this side and fold it together okay this is the setup I'm going to use I'm going to have the four buttons on one side and then I'm going to have the button holes on this side this is going to represent a shirt so you see you get a real good idea of how to do it and how it's going to look and again I have two metals two plastic four different sizes I'm going to show you how to do one and well I'll show you how to do two and then I'll do the other two in fast motion so you don't have to watch that process okay before I put this on the sewing machine let me show you exactly how it works this right here is your automatic buttonhole so this little lever right here moves the guide pin up and down I'm gonna take the biggest button and I'm set it in here and then I close this until it's snug. So then once you attach this to the sewing machine right here, the sewing, the sewing machine uses your button as a guide as how, um, as how big to make the button hold. So simply just put the button in, the sewing machine uh, goes, the sewing machine uses this gap right here to show just how big uh, to make the button hold. Now once your button hole is made, you have to use your button fitting hole, your button fitting foot, and you want to make sure that it's close. You want to make sure that your button fitting foot can cover the span of the holes. And as you see, this one does just fine, and it works just fine with this one as well. So. So, let me go ahead and put this on the sewing machine and then we'll get started. Okay, now I'm about to thread the sewing machine. Again, this is black thread and it's brand new. So, you simply have to release your spool pin and just take your thread and you just slide it through and make you just slide it through and makes a little hole. Slide it through, makes the hole. Put my spool cap on. I grab my thread and then I just start sewing, threading the sewing machine down, up, down. And then let me zoom in down here so you can see. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, and that's just how easy it is to thread the sewing machine. I already have the black bobbin in here. Now, let me take off this presser foot because this is J and I need to add the button presser foot. I need to add the button pressing foot. Okay, in order to take any foot off, this little lever right here, you press the lever and the pressing foot just drops out the way. I already have the button attached. So, you want to take your presser foot. This is sewing the sewing hole presser foot and that little metal tab right there little metal tab right here goes under this little groove and then it just locks into place okay once you line it up you can just lift it up and it's in place now then there's this right here this gray lever you pull it down all the way down and you want to make sure that the lever is in between these two little pins see these two little guide pins these two little guide pins because that's how the sewing machine knows how far to make the buttonhole so bring that lever down make sure it's in between those two little pins in between those two little pins and then you're good to go okay now I have the pressure foot loaded I don't know if you can see but the thread is going through this little hole just to get the thread out of the way okay right here here's the button now this is where I want this is where I want the hole to go so I want the hole to go perpendicular to the button and not parallel to it. So here's the hole. So I need to turn my fabric this way and sit it on the sewing machine. Turn my fabric that way and sit it on the sewing machine. Now since we're using the since we're using the button foot you you use from 34 all the way over to 42 so 34 to 42 I'm going to do four different ones just so we can see what uh, four of them look like I'm gonna start with number 34 so you press this little button until you come to uh, your zigzag and till you get this symbol which matches this symbol right here and then we're gonna to go to 34 34 and as you see right here this a that's the button foot that's uh, the button foot a and it's preset with the length and zigzag I'm not using the foot control I'm just going to let it go by auto so you just hit start and watch it do its magic Okay, now we're done. So, needle up, lift your presser foot up, and take the material out. Go ahead and cut it. And if I can cut it. Okay, and here is your buttonhole. There's the buttonhole. Now, if we look at the button, Take the button out. Come on over here. If you look at your button, you see that the button hole is the width of the button. So right here in between the thread, you have to cut that out. So you just 
simply cut a little line with an X-Acto knife or some scissors, which I'll do that in a second, and then you'll see that your button fits. So let me cut that out and uh, we'll see that it slides through. I simply just have my X-Acto knife and I'm just cutting right in the middle. Just cutting the fabric in the middle. Okay, after you use your X-Acto knife or your scissors or even your uh, seam ripper, after you cut the hole, you can see that the button just fits right through. Okay, so that's how you make your buttonhole. I'm going to make one more buttonhole and then I'll go ahead and attach the buttons and we'll see it all together. Okay, I'm going to sew one more buttonhole so we can see the process again. I'm going to use this small button. With your presser foot A still attached to the sewing machine, you just load it in the back and you squeeze it until it's snug. You put your fabric back down. Scoot the fabric down. Scoot your fabric down. And then let's choose 36 this time. So there's number 36. Lower your pressure foot and hit go. Put up, pull your fabric out, go ahead and cut it, and there's your second hole. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do these off camera and then we'll add the buttons on. Okay, now that I have all the button holes sewn, it's time to sew the buttons to the fabric. So I'm going to get my button fitting foot and attach it. Again, you just hit this little lever, the foot drops, you raise up that lever, you take your button foot and you want the blue tips pointing forward. Where is this up? You want the blue tips pointing forward. And there you go. I like to take my thread and have it go through. I like to take the thread and have it go through the foot. And once you load your foot, you come back here to the back and you want to disengage your feed dog. So you slide the lever to where you see the feed dog are below the line and here they're above. So you disengage your feed dog by sliding it over. And now your and now your feed dog will not move and the needle uh, and, and the feet will just stay right there. So you take your fabric Take your fabric take your fabric and you take your button Line your button up exactly where you want 
Line your button up. Line that button up. Fucking line it up. Drop your, drop the lever. Lower the, the position. You put your number on, you want to do it on zigzag. So zero three. So. I'll put it on zigzag. Then you go over here to the hand turner. Turn your wheel by hand. And as you turn your wheel, you make sure it enters the hole. And then as it comes up, you'll see it shift over. And it didn't shift over enough. So I'll come over here to zigzag and I increase the zig until it goes down. So I just do it by hand a few stitches. Just do it by hand a few. And then to lock the stitch in, as you go down, you change this back to a straight stitch, zero, zero. And then you sew it up and down in place for a couple sews. You raise up the foot position, move the needle, move your button, lower the foot, Make sure the needle is in. It's not properly lined up. Let me make my adjustment. Lower it down. It's in. Let me come back up here. Put it on three. And I'm going to make the zigzag as big as possible. And turn it. Turn it by hand. You see it shift over. And it's going up and down. Now I want to lock that stitch in again. So come back to zero, zero. And again, I'm just turning by hand this whole time. And it's going up and down. Release the foot. Over here. Cut off your excess thread. And there you go. Your button is sewn on. You see on the back. So I'm going to, when I get done, I'm going to clean all this little excess thread. And then your button is done. Okay, as you can see, all of them uh, fit through the hole and they all line up. My goal, I guess I could have lined them up a little better, but my goal was just to show you how to actually do it and they all worked. Okay, as you can see right here, the buttons got attached and they're holding. That's just how easy it is to put a button and a button hole on fabric using the Brothers SQ9185. As usual, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'll be sure to answer them. You guys have a good day. Have fun sewing.